Hey everyone, uh, back again with me, Andreas Diga, and today we will be talking about phase diagram using fact set simulation. So let's jump to it. In parametallurgy, we usually find slag metal reaction to refine our metals. And the slag that we have usually consists of uh, several oxides, such as silica here, alumina, calcia, magnesia, and many other uh, oxides. And pyrometallurgy is an uh, energy intensive process, usually needs uh, high temperature because we need to have molten phases of slag and metal but if we look at our oxides melting points the melting points here is different and quite high as you can see here alumina is around 2000 degrees celsius silica is around 1700 celsius and calcia is quite high 2500 degree celsius so the question here is how to reduce the melting point and this is what uh, we are going to do in the fact sheets now i'll begin to open my uh, fact sheets here as you can see here we will be clicking the face diagram here now uh this is the preloaded uh, simulation before but uh the first thing that i want to show you is uh is the uh, silica and calcia only so we click no here uh and then no again here and i will be clicking oxide uh, ft oxide only okay and we'll be inputting the uh compounds silica and calcia actually you can do it using uh, Fexet's education version because it doesn't exit two uh, or three substances here so we can click next and we'll be clicking pure liquids and pure solids and clicking also the uh, solution phases here so we need to define the variables here uh, as you can see here we'll be using two phase diagram here click next we will be using uh, the y-axis as our temperature variable i will be inputting uh, because we know previously that the uh, melting point of uh, calcia is 2600 so we'll be inputting that and the minimum uh, value is uh, perhaps 1000 and the x axis here is the composition between silica and calcia okay uh, we click okay and click calculate Now it's calculating the uh, phase diagram. As you can see here, uh, the x axis is the uh, composition uh, variable and the y axis here is the uh, temperature uh, variable. And uh, the most left hand side here uh, of the x axis is zero to the uh, silica. So it means 100% of calcia the silica melting point is around 1700 and the uh, melting point of uh, calcia is 2600 something or below 2600 and you can see here that the uh, mixture between those two oxides creates several uh, eutectic point the point where we cannot uh, separate between the uh, compositions uh, be between two different compositions and we can see that 
actually the melting point of the uh, mixture is actually decreasing and several points here are actually lower than the melting point of pure silica and to see uh, the uh, face that we have here we need to click it uh, on the uh, corresponding area like here and then here also here yeah you can click it uh, as many times as you like and so basically then you may know what kind of uh, face that you have in that area so so this is the uh, the function of a face diagram that we have uh, in facets we would know uh, the melting point of the mixture if we have uh, this composition then we have the melting point of this composition in this point so to save this uh, we just click file if us and we can select the uh, type of files that we want to save for example pmp here and we'll be saving it in our uh, directory so basically uh, i will be saving this as silica cause here right so what if we have three uh, different oxides so let's say we add one more oxide here the alumina so now uh, yeah I easily click all of this because uh, it will show the uh, probability that this face will show up in our results here again we click variable but now we cannot use the uh, y and x diagram again we will be we will be using the ternary diagram because we have three different uh, oxides and as you can see here the temperature is now constant because each uh, corner here are the abc here actually are the oxides and we only uh, can show one uh, temperature for each uh, for, for, for each uh, simulation and also one uh, pressure and what you need to check in this diagram is that you have different uh, different maximum point of your ternary diagram uh, the first corner you have uh, full or 100 percent of silica the second corner you have 100 uh, percent of calcia and the third uh, corner you have 100 uh, percent of alumina and you click ok here uh, but before that uh, you can you can always change the uh, temperature here so for example if you know that the, the uh, mixture is somewhere between 2000 and uh, 2000 and also 1700 here maybe you can check the temperature here to maybe uh, 1400 okay uh so we click okay here and we click calculate now it's calculating the uh first diagram here it needs some time to calculate the whole diagram okay now it's finished now if you uh, have a lot of work in parametallurgy uh, you 
you somehow know that the uh, liquid phase is somewhere in this area and all you need to do is to click the area so now uh, we know that this area is uh, totally liquid but if we click uh, the area just to the red to the left hand side of the uh, area here we got a mixture phase of uh, slack liquid and also uh, this solid uh, phase and also if you uh, click here you have different phases again here different phases again here different phases again so now uh, what diagram what this diagram is telling us is that if we have let's say we have a mixture of 20% calcia uh, sorry 80% calcia here 80% of calcia we do not have any uh, slack liquid phase but let's say we have 50% of silica 50% of silica and then also uh, 0.35% of calcia and then uh, 0.15 alumina so right now we have uh, slack liquid so if you want to uh, melt in the range of 1400 degrees celsius you have to uh, have this mixture so uh, let's check again if we have a greater area of uh, slack liquid phase if we increase the temperature here so let's do it let's say now we want to see the uh, diagram in 1600 degrees celsius okay now it's calculating again so now we have uh, fewer phases here and the uh, liquid phase that we have here is actually bigger than what we have in the diagram at 1400 uh, degrees celsius so now we know that uh, when increasing the uh, temperature you get a bigger area of uh, liquid so you have more flexible uh, option in terms of uh, the uh, mixture of your slack so this is what uh, first diagram basically uh, wants to tell us and also how we utilize the first diagram module in the fact sets. Uh, I hope you enjoy this training or presentation and have a good day.